Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are back doing another Rivals of Ixalan Intermediate Swiss Draft League. The rare is Paladin of Atonement. I don't think we're going to take that. I'm looking at this Ravenous Chupacabra, which looks like a fantastic card. Really good with any sort of like blink or re-enter the battlefield effect. Very good. So, probably take that. Doesn't go with any tribe. But I don't think that matters. Got Vampire Revenant. I like the moment of craving. So pirates and vampires basically are the only black tribes that I can think of. Um, so, start her off. All right, next we have World Shaper, which doesn't seem that relevant, honestly. It's worth a whole penny. What's the best card in this pack? Silvergill Adept is good, but it's definitely better than World Shaper, I would say. Um, Cherished Hatchling is cool. In black, I mean, we have basically Dusk Charger, which is pretty good. Grasping Scoundrel, just pretty aggressive. One drop, two one potentially. It's a pirate. Yeah, I mean we could take it. It's only when it attacks, but it's a good one drop. Otherwise, there's Hunt the Weak, which is probably the best card in this pack by quite a bit. Black, green, not exactly what I want to go into though. I guess we'll take the Scoundrel. Tomb Robber. Menace Pirate. It's a 1 1. Discard a card and it explores. Ah. Uh, seems okay. Old Sworn Vampire is kind of cool. Divine Verdict. Squire's Devotion. Another Dusk Charger. Do we want to try out the Tomb Robber? 3 mana 1 1 is pretty bad. And the fact that you have to discard a card to explore. That doesn't even really make sense to me. I mean, it kind of digs, but I guess it's kind of cool if you just rip a bunch of lands off the top. Huh. It's also a Kite Sail Corsair, which is pretty good. We could try out the rare, see what we think. Maybe I shouldn't judge it until I try it, but I'm pretty underwhelmed on the surface with it. So now we can take Moment of Craving, good removal, built-in life gain, which is very, very important for this format, if it continues to be as aggressive as I feel it is. All right, so we'll take the Moment of Craving, continue down the Black Path. Hmm, so fifth pick Divine Verdict, which is pretty good removal, but I don't really know for aggro, or we can also take the Buccaneer. It's another pirate. It's a pirate path to go, and it's an aggressive card. Could still easily be a beatdown deck. Otherwise, there's Mutiny, which is removal. Cheap removal. But maybe I want the efficient creature instead. If I'm going to... Mm. Efficient removal usually trumps creature. And then there's Divine Verdict as well. I guess we'll we'll take the Mutiny over the Buccaneer. I think they're both good. So now another Scoundrel seems fine. Another Hunt the Weak. Fairly late, but like I said, Black Green's not a good color combo. Probably just take another Scoundrel. I don't see why not. I like the border. 3 mana 3 3 is good. Wonder if there's going to be a gruesome fate deck. I doubt it. There's Traveler's Amulet too for some ascend or fixing. Probably take the border. Huh. Pretty all around unexcited here. 
Could take a shake the foundations. It's, unfortunately, it's good against us, but maybe in a pinch could sideboard it. Otherwise, it's Dark Inquiry, which I guess is okay if, if there's bombs I need to take care of. But I think Shake the Foundations is, like I said, going to be good against us, and there might be times where I want to bring it in. So, Freebooter is a pirate, and I guess it's not very good, but otherwise I could take the Revenant. Four mana, three power flyer, but it's only got one toughness. I might just take the Evasion. I don't really see a need for the freebooter, and who knows, maybe we don't even, maybe we still somehow end up in a vampire deck. I mean, we saw that late 4-drop uh, 3-3, three, three, the Grafter, but Grafter is currently not very good in our deck. So we can take Recover. It's actually pretty good value. Return a creature plus draw a card. Otherwise, we could take Dusk Charger. I actually don't think it's that unlikely that we can get Ascend if we end up with a ton of cheap uh, beaters. And a 4 mana 5-5 five, five is pretty good. Could take the Tillinali's Crown, but basically it kills everything <laughs> Kills like everything we have. I guess we'll take the Charger then. Yeah, probably take another one. Dark Inquiry now... Uh, maybe Shatter, actually. Take it for sideboard, just in case. I mean, we're not even sure we're red. I don't really like Strider Harness all that much. I don't like the Monitor either, but I guess we'll take it. All right, got the crown anyway. I guess it's good to see a second to last pick red card. But So all we've done is solidify ourselves into black, but we could still end up black, red, or black, blue if we're going down the pirate path. I feel like we didn't see a lot of red or blue, though. Maybe mono black, but... There's really not a ton of advantages to going monocolor that I know of, other than a pretty stable mana base. Temple Altasar. That's kind of cool. I doubt it's worth anything. There's a Daring Buccaneer in here, which I could take. It's, uh, once again, just a cheap, efficient thing. Uh, Buccaneer's Bravado is good. If we don't end up in red, I maybe just want to take the Grasping Scoundrel over the Buccaneer. Just in case. I like. I think the Bravado is good, by the way. But i probably take the Scoundrel. Like I said, in case we don't end up in... I was pretty impressed with this card when I saw it played. This is probably really good with those cheap, efficient, uh, evasive pirates. I really like that a lot. But we'll take the Scoundrel. Legion Lieutenant. Alright, well... We have Firebrand, which I guess did prove itself to be fairly good and playable, actually. We'll see if Expel from Arazka is worth anything. I doubt it is. No. Nope. All right. We'll take the we'll take the Firebrand. It's cool. It kills X1s. There's plenty of those in the format. This card's really good, too. I like the Martyr of Dusk a lot, but we're going to take the Firebrand. Search for a dinosaur. Well, that's not what I need. Could take another Revenant. It's another 4-drop, though. Not terribly exciting. Nothing in here is for us. Could just take the Vampire card audible into Vampire. Seems very unlikely that that's a good idea now, but considering we have one Vampire. There's just nothing in here I want. I don't even care about Evolving Wilds. And this isn't even a pirate or a vampire, which is odd. All right, we'll take the lieutenant. Resplendent Griffin. It's kind of cool. Freebooter, another mutiny. Another moment of craving. I like the craving more, so we'll take that. Another hunt the week as well. Yeah, I'm still trying to feel my way through what we're doing here. Path of Discovery, huh? Foil, no less. What's the uh, captain's hook do? Plus two, plus O, oh, menace, pirate. This seems great. We'll play it. Take it, play it. Great for us. 
mean, we've got little dudes we don't care about, so I'm all about it. All right, we can take another mutiny, I guess. I actually like Pirate's Pillage, but or I've been more impressed with it than I thought I would be, I should say. But we'll take the mutiny. So I mean, we have a lot of we have a low curve, a lot of cheap removal. Swagger and Cosair is a good pickup. All right, let's let's just pull the trigger on this black red thing. I'm fine with that. We don't really have life gain that I see though, so we'll take the Corsair. I think Captain's Hook's actually going to be pretty good. So the lieutenant can go, and we'll leave the monitor in for now, even though it's pretty underwhelming. We don't actually have any pirate synergies that I can see. We have cards that we have a card that wants you to play pirates, so you don't punish yourself. But oh, here we go. Perfect. This is like exactly the card we needed. So I'm going to take it over the third mutiny. Yeah, this is perfect. Finally, so we have a pirate synergy now. Good. We can actually play Tillinolli's Crown in here now, too, which is kind of cool, but I still don't know how I feel about this card. It's probably not that good. Ooh, got the Daring Buccaneer back. It's also the Buccaneer's Bravado. Double Strike is huge, but I think I want the Buccaneer. We just want all the cheap pirates we can get. I think that's the key to this deck here. I don't know. Let's let's take the gruesome fate, but I don't think we're gonna play it. It'd be cool if we could make it work. I'll take a traveler's name. I'm not gonna play a revenant or a canal monitor. I don't even want to play this one. All right, we'll take the freebooter. It's a pirate. So doing stuff and things, trying to figure out where we're supposed to be. I actually think ascend is. So far, I've been pretty impressed with Ascend as a mechanic. I think it's good. Um, the only archetype I could think where Ascend would be bad is a deck that doesn't do anything, but I think you got more problems if your deck doesn't do anything. Like, whether you're playing a mid-range deck, it's probably... I would think it almost shines in an aggro deck. Aggros or tokens is where it's going to shine, so vampires, definitely. Take another freebooter. All the freebooters, but don't really want any of them. That's all right. We'll figure out what we're cutting at some point. Well, Captain's cool. We also have Skullduggery, which is a great card. But I think we got to take the Captain. We have all these one-drop beaters. Like, this is... And we can even hope to wheel the Captain, but... And I do love Skullduggery. I think the card is fantastic. But I think I'm just going to take the Captain because I don't see why not. Buccaneer, probably fine in here. Mark of the Vampire has always just been amazing for me. So I'd probably take it over the Buccaneer, hope to wheel the Buccaneer. I don't think we're playing a lot of these four drops anyway. We're going to definitely try and get this down to a 16 land deck. I think we'll easily be able to do that, but in the meantime, we got to start getting rid of these turdy four drops. As far as efficiency goes, though, we're getting there. Ooh, Dire Fleet Captain 2. I think we just got to take it. Like, I think Vanquish the Week's great, but we're kind of okay on removal. I mean, you can always have more removal. I guess we just have, what, a Chupacabra, two Moment of Cravings, two Mutinies, and that's it. I, I still want the Captain. Like, with all these one-drops, this with all these one-drop pirates... This thing is just going to be a beater. So it just makes sense to me to take it. Even though I think Vanquish the Week's a great card, too. Well, immediately rewarded with another Vanquish the Week. So we'll take it over the Buccaneer here. And be happy about that. Raptor Hatchling is actually very good. But we want this Blood Letter. So we can... Dump another freebooter. Get the blood letter. Be happy enough with that. March of the Drown. That's some good value for us. 
Well, look what a drowned catacomb's worth, but I don't think it's really worth that much. Would have been a cool card to get if we ended up... It's a ticket and a half. It's actually not bad. But we'll take the March of the Drown. I actually think March is going to be really good in here. So we can take that pretty easily and dump the last the Revenant. And This is a deck. Like, this is totally a deck that I'm happy playing. Another March of the Drown. Jeez. Maybe the Hijack. Field of Ruin is not terrible either. As a sideboard card, I should say. Hijack, I don't know, this format's so aggressive, I don't know about Hijack. Two March of the Drown seems unnecessary. But I could actually play it over Till and Ollie's Crown. I guess Till and Ollie's Crown is basically good on evasive... It's it's good on a few things. But we don't really have much menace either. I don't know. I think either way we'll probably just take the second March of the Drown. See what happens. Wow. Mark of the Vampire, number two. We're taking that. That's huge. Munitions is actually kind of cool in this deck, too. But, all right, let's cut this. Now I can dump the Till and Ollie's Crown, and we'll... Like, this looks really good to me. Get the Munitions anyway. It's cool. I, I don't think I'll play it, but it is cool. Just because we have all these cheap guys. Munitions tends to shine in, like, an artifact centric deck. There's also Blightkeeper, but synergistically speaking, it's really not that good. I guess we'll take the munitions anyway. Alright, getting the Buccaneer back is kind of cool. There's a question as to whether I want to play it or not. I think it's the pick regardless, but do I want to play it over like a Dusk Charger? We can take the Duress for sideboard. Costly Plunder is good against the high removal decks. We're not going to play the Dreadnought anyway. Rummaging Goblin is surprisingly playable. I just don't think that we need it. So, I basically just need to make one cut. That shouldn't be too terribly difficult. But, we'll see. Maybe... Dusk Charger is probably just better than Buc Buccaneer. I'd rather just be able to play a 4-mana 5-5. Five, five. Like, think if you play turn 1, 1-drop, one turn 2, 2, 1-drops, you're already up to, what, 5 for your Ascend? That's pretty good. You can get there pretty quick, I think. So, maybe I'd... But the Buccaneer does have haste. Not irrelevant. I also like Explorer. It also has some random synergy with our forerunner of the Coalition. We also... We don't really have a great pirate to find, probably just Dire Fleet Captain most of the time, which admittedly is pretty unexciting, but that's okay. So I guess we'll cut the Buccaneer, cut a 4-drop for sure, and then our curve looks really good. Uh, plenty of removal, two Mutinies, two Moment of Cravings, Vanquish, and the Chupacabra, so we can deal with most things. Yeah, I, I think this deck looks really good. Looks fun. So, let's sort by color here and figure out what we're doing. So, obviously need black a lot more than we need red, but still need red early. So, we'll probably just do like a 9-7 split. Only have one double black card anyway, so I think that seems reasonable. So, we'll do 9-7 and call her a deck, I guess, yeah. This is it. Cool. All right. Well, red, black, pirate beats. Fun looking little deck here. We'll see how it does. We'll see you around one.